Hello everyone. So in today's tutorial, I will be showing with you how to make spotlight effect in Canva. So it will be an interesting tutorial for all of you. And before starting, I will request all of you to please subscribe to the channel. And in this way, you can inspire us to make new tutorials for you for absolutely free in our channel. So let's start with it. So I will click on create a design and I will use Instagram post portrait format this 4 is to 5 format okay so you can uh, also go to custom size and choose a 4 is to 5 format for you uh, that's completely okay but I am going with this uh, Instagram post por uh, portrait format which is also in this 4 is to 5 effect scale okay so let's click on it okay so so to not waste much of your time i have uh, already chosen some images uh, so that we can use it uh, in this project and for this tutorial uh, you don't need to have any type of uh, help from any other website or any third party app or something else you can do everything in canva so you have to go to elements and uh, for the first uh, as you can see i have chosen this image this is the keyword is omen sitting on chair okay this omen sitting on chair you can uh, go to photos and directly find that omen sitting on chair okay so you will find many images here i have chosen this image okay so i will just right click and set image as background okay i will just bring it down here okay so this is our image and as you can see this is a pro image so if you don't have a pro account you can choose any other image which do it doesn't have a pro in listing in it like this image you can use okay so so let's start the next one so for the next step you will go to elements and use this square frame so as you can see it's square frame you can go directly and click on frames and get it here by scrolling this and using this square frame okay as you can see this is the square frame and i will click on it okay so let's make it bigger okay so i will use this image again and put it right here so let's click it and bring it here and i will now it's time to adjust it okay so let's adjust it here So let's check on it. I think it's slightly not adjusting. So I will just decrease the scale and adjust it accordingly. And let's check it now. So I think it's properly adjusted here. So I will click on done. Okay. So the main uh, thing is here it is you have to check the, if the uh, frame is properly adjusted or not because if it is not properly adjusted the effect will not look good okay so let's unzoom a bit now is for the next step so i will just come in here in this main image and i will go to edit image okay and i will go to adjust and click on see all and decrease the brightness increase the contrast a bit not much uh, 8 to 9 will do and increase this vignette 
so that it creates a halo effect here as you can see it is creating here the more i do more it is coming here now let's work on the shadows decrease it okay so you can do it according to your own will but uh, this looks good to me and now i will select this square uh, neon frame uh, which you can find like this is the keyword basic neon square you can just find it in the elements just click it in here and this is the first one as you can see it here you can use any of them but uh, this is free to use and the main thing i am using is because you can change the color for it okay so i will just pay, click it here and scale it according to our requirement okay okay and change both the colors to white you can change to any colors you want but uh, for this effect the white color looks the best okay so let's uh, make it a st slightly smaller let's hold the square and just adjust it accordingly okay and now you can see the spotlight effect is done and here it is coming the spotlight effect and as you can see all the areas as you apply a spotlight in here uh, all the areas are in dark and the main area which you want to focus is in bright light which is the spotlight as you can see it is done here so hope you like this tutorial it is a fast and easy process you can do it in your own way and design it accordingly hope you like it and please share your work in uh, our uh, Instagram page so that we can share your work in the uh, sections and please subscribe to our channel and uh, please do comment if you like the tutorial and please like, uh, like the video so that we can understand that you are uh, getting motivation from this channel and liking our tutorial. Thank you. Have a great day and keep supporting us.